show you how to make this really cute 3d butterfly shadow box using items from the Dollar Tree so stay tuned I'll show you how to do it alrighty y'all let us get started so I was in Dollar Tree today and I came across these crafter square butterfly stickers you get four in a pack and it says pop-up so I looked at them and I said to myself self these are so cute we have got to find some way to use them so you can see these two down here are sort of reddish orange color and then here we have white and gold and this one is mostly white with a bunch of black it looks like some uh like this iridescent glitter on there that gives it sort of a a blue green you know type of sheen coloring to it and i said all right let's pick these up and walk around the store see what we can do so then I came across these little, I want to call them shadow boxes. I don't know what you want to call them. These little shadow box things. This one says every day is cat or day. Um, they had a few different styles, all cat themed. I want to say crazy cat lady. No, they did have a dog one. It said it's not drinking alone if the dog is home. So it was, you know, cat and dog themed. So I have two of those. And then I have this pack of stickers here. Now, what this is is just i'm trying to find the pack of it i don't think it came out of this pack but anyway just some of this uh scrapbooking paper i just tried to find something that had a little bit of a design but i wanted it to be dark because this is black i wanted this to be dark so that the butterflies would really stand out and what i did is i just took a tape measure and measured and right now off the top of my head i swear i can't remember how big it was but anyway I just measured it out and then cut out a piece of the scrapbook paper to fit this. Now over here I have some Mod Podge and a little paintbrush. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to try to take this out. There we go. And that is so cute I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep it and maybe make something out of it later. You know that's Now see why couldn't you have done that? Cause you're gonna be a pain in the behind so it's gonna lay over there okay <laughs> we're gonna work with this one so anyway i have my mod podge now, this is just my little sample kit here because i can't find my jar uh, so this is the regular matte mod podge here yeah number one <laughs> so i'm just taking my paintbrush and i'm just gonna there's a little bit of something something in there i'm just gonna paint a layer of mod podge all over the inside here if you don't have Mod Podge, that's okay. You can use like a glue stick. You know, like those, um, like the paper glue, like we used to use in school that came in sticks. <laughs> you can use one of those. You can use this regular Elmer's glue and then use a brush, just paint it in there. Oops, I got some right there. That's all right. It's gonna dry clear, but I'll wipe it off here in a minute. All right, I think I have a pretty good coat on that so now let's just take our piece of paper i'm just going to place it right down in there try to make sure it covers up oh i don't think it's going to cover up everything there we go i can just color that in with a sharpie or something <laughs> all right so now i'm just going to press it down and then go back and forth to make sure i get all of the wrinkles out yeah, I'll just go back in with a Sharpie. You can barely, barely see, I don't know if you can see there, but you can like barely see just a little bit of the background that was in there. But yeah, I'll just draw over it because I can. All right, now let's smooth this out. And I'm gonna get a cloth or something and wipe off this excess down here where I got a little messy. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Once I pop this little piece of wood, I might need a screwdriver or something just to pop it off there. But um, yeah, I'm going to work on this one and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to glue the paper down in there. So hold on one minute and I'll be back. Okay, so I know somebody's probably going to ask me about the little sampler kit over here. But what it, what it is, is there's a store near me called Mighty Dollar. And they had a ton of stuff, <laughs> some really good stuff for just a dollar. And this was just, like I said, a sampler kit. There's the matte Mod Podge gloss, sparkle, fabric, paper, and outdoor. You know, it just has enough in it, like for a small project. Um, just so that you can see how it works. 
But anyway, I think this is mostly dried. Now, I do want to point this out. If you look on the back of these, you have Mod Podge all over your finger. Well, that's just disgusting. Let's wipe that off. All right. Anyway, if you look on the back here, you'll see that there's a little hanger. So when you're gluing down your paper, if there's a design on it, you know, like like this, make sure when you glue it down that you have your hanger up at the top. So this is the way that they're going to hang, okay? All right. So now moving along, let's take a look at these butterfly stickers. Ooh, cute. Oh, okay, so they're on like a little piece of plastic. And look at there. Okay, so they have a little piece of foam on the back. Now, I think I want to play with this in first. So let's see, I'm not too keen on that little, that little piece of foam. Let's move this over here. I'm not too keen on that little piece of foam, so I think I'm going to take it off. And as you can look, you can see that this is not very well centered. So let's uh, well, I'll try to carefully remove this and recenter it. I'm just kind of pulling it away from the main one. Careful, careful. Okay, that is no longer sticky, but I have my hot glue gun over here heating up and I wanna try to glue it back on there so that it's more centered. Now, looking at this, there are indentations here, which looks to me like you can bend the wings up, maybe put a crease in them, give it a more three-dimensional effect. So, is my glue gun hot yet? No. All right. So, I'm going to wait for my hot glue gun to get hot. I thought it was already hot. It's being really slow right now. But, yeah, I said these aren't too terribly centered. So, what I'm going to do is... Wait for that to heat up and then we'll come back and we'll center this and we'll bend the wings up and see if we can get these to look a little bit better. Okay, so my glue gun is ready. And what I did is I just took a dot, just a dot, because I don't want it to melt through everything. This is a high temp glue gun. Um, I can't find my low temp at the moment, so it might be safer for you if you use a low temp gun. But what I did is I just centered it. And then I put a blob of glue on the back of that little piece of foam there. And I think I've got it, let go of my darn finger. I think I've got it a little bit more centered. Now, if you look real close at the wings, like I said, there's, there's creases. And I just bent the wings up a little bit. You can look at it like that. I just bent the wings up a little bit. So it gives it more of a three-dimensional effect. So let's look at this here. And honestly, I, I don't want this piece of foam on there. I've been debating about leaving it on there or taking it off. I think I'm just going to take... Oh, Lord. All right, get over there. Now, let's see. This is this is paper, so hot glue is not going to bother that. Now, I could stick this down with Mod Podge. I'm not decided yet as to what I want to do. It's like, do I want to... Don't want to use the hot glue or the Mod Podge, but you know, being paper, I think it might be a better idea if we use Mod Podge. So let's go back, see if I can find my brush. There it is. And we'll try to be a little bit more careful this time of putting some Mod Podge on the back of this and then sticking it down with that. I don't want to get it too close to the edge either because then when I press it down I don't want it to ooze out and get it all over my paper oops I'm being messy look at that it's not gonna need a whole lot okay and then this will need to dry for a little bit all right like I said once again make double sure where the hanger is I'm trying to Get this stuck down directly in the center. Okay, I think that looks good. Now let me just lay it down and press it down. You just have to keep pressing it because it's going to want to... Ah, some leaked out. Don't do that. Okay, because some wanted to ooze out. So just be careful there. Okay, that looks good. What y'all think? Looks pretty centered, huh? How cute is that? I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but I'm really liking this. Really cute and simple, right? All right, let's grab this one. 
And let's take a look at this one here. This one is not all that lined up either. So yeah, those two red ones look pretty good though. Let's pull that off. Like I said, I just pulled this off easily, trying to be delicate here. All right. And I'll show you how I did that a while ago. I was just experimenting around. <laughs> See, I just put the blob of glue there and try to get it a little bit more centered and then just pressed it down. And then once the glue set up, you can see the lines on the wings there. Yeah, then I just bent the wings up. So that is pretty much all that I did here. You know what, let me, I'll just bend these up. You wanna be careful with these um, because this is like a fairly flimsy feeling plastic. I don't know it's, it's bending capabilities, you know, like how far you can bend it back and forth, back and forth before it just gives up and cracks and then, <laughs> oh well, you know. But there's that one, how cute is that? Now we're just gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna paint the back with some Mod Podge and then we'll stick it down. Oh Lord, that is way too much. I was a little overzealous there. All right. Paint it on. Okay. Get out of my way. Okay, there's the top. Let me see if I can get this into place without making too big of a mess. That looks okay. And then just press that one down too. I like these. I use those red ones for something else, but I wanted this one. I know a lot of people like things in their home that's like light and bright. I kind of like darker things. Um, so this is, this will look good in here. I made a little bit of a mess with that one. Just dab it off. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab. All right, there we go. That one is cute too. Actually, I like the both of them. How cute is that? But I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you would, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!